What's up, guys? I'm the Nearsighted Gamer. Thanks for coming to see me. Happy New Year! Mm. I hope you and your significant other had a fantastic Valentine. Mm. Happy St. Patrick's Day? I know, I know. This video's kind of late. Kind of. Even though we're only a couple months into 2023, I'm still playing games from 2022. <laughs> Backlogs, am I right? Honestly, nothing's really jumped out at me yet. Well, it is the beginning of the year, so I'm pretty sure the best is yet to come. As far as 2022 goes, an insane amount of games came out. And while I didn't play all of them, I did play a lot. Well, a lot for me, that is. This year, in addition to Game of the Year, there were some games that I thought deserved other awards. Some you may have heard of before, and some I came up with myself. First, I'll run through those, and then I'll reveal my Game of the Year. I wanted to get Host back again this year, but for some reason, Inscription winning Game of the Year last year really got to him. How? How? I can't, how, how did it happen? I just, just, how did a PC game end up as Game of the Year? I just, I can't, doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. How? How in the world did a PC game end up being Game of the Year? I don't, I don't know. It, it shouldn't, it shouldn't even be possible. He just can't wrap his mind around it. I hope he gets over it soon, but for this year, it's just me. Okay, first award is best game that I played that didn't come out last year. And the winner is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I got a PS5 for Christmas last year, and the first thing I did was download this game. I've been a fan of this series since the beginning. It's actually the main reason I wanted a PS5 originally, and it was a great way to finish off the year. The next award is, I plan on getting back to it. And the winner is Splatoon 3. I mean, come on, it's Splatoon. Super fun gameplay along with awesome music, all paired with style that's just cool. Everything that made the other games great is back, but better. I really gotta get back to it. Next up, it's just not for me. And this one's a tie. The winners are Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I gave both of these games a shot. This was my first Kirby game and I jumped in hoping to become a fan, but I was just bored. As for Xenoblade, there's just a lot going on with this game. It seems that way for the series. I felt the same way after playing 2. In both instances, I just didn't like the battle system, which is a big part of an RPG. I'm not saying it's bad, but I didn't like it. Next, game I'll probably never play. And the winner is Sonic Frontiers. It looks like 3D Sonic fans finally got a win. Good for them. But talk to me whenever there's a new 2D Sonic game. The next award is Biggest Disappointment. And the winner, or loser in this case, is Forspoken. You know, I'm always rooting for the underdog. Everybody was doubting this game before it even came out. But I was holding out hope. Sadly, it didn't deliver. There's a good game in there. They just needed to make a few different design choices. It's not all bad, but the bad outweighs the good. And the next award is Coolest Moment. And the winner is Restoring Power to Las Vegas in Horizon Forbidden West. This happens during a story mission, so you have to do a mission to restore power to what was once Las Vegas by swimming through a flooded underground cavern. After you emerge, you see the outside area in a completely different light. You see the surrounding desert lit up by holograms, giving shape and color to the broken and crumbled buildings. 
as well as illuminating the sky with decorative lights and even a freaking dragon. It was awesome. Next award. Ain't nobody got time for that. And the winner is Elden Ring. Ain't got time to play it. Ain't got time to talk about it. Next up, biggest surprise. And the winner is Marvel Snap. Marvel freaking snap. This game came out of nowhere, for me at least, and completely blew up. Take one of the biggest properties in the world right now, with characters that everybody at least knows somebody from, then make an addictive and insanely fun card battle game. I just thought it looked like fun. I had no idea how right I was. Now for the one you've all been waiting for, game of the year. No nominees this year. We're just going to get right into it. <clears throat> and my 2022 game of the year is... Wait. 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 Let me do it. Hey man, you made it! Okay, but are you sure? You still seem a little... Wait, did you run here? Yeah, yeah, and maybe, but I'm fine. Really, come on, let me do it. Well, it would be weird doing it without you. All right. It's all you, dude. Thanks, man. I can't believe I almost missed this. <clears throat> and the 2022 Game of the Year goes to... Marvel Snap. Yep. Despite being my biggest surprise, it's also my game of the year. Dude, this game is so freaking good. With the entire Marvel Universe to pull from, including characters and locations, there's no limit to the amount of content they could have. A PC game? Marvel Snap? All the cards are made up of notable Marvel people, places, and objects, which have their own individual energy and power. And you play these on one of three locations. Almost all of the cards have abilities which can affect the match in some way. Marvel. Who makes a PC game? Snap. Game of the year. Then, whoever wins two out of the three locations wins the match. There are dozens of locations, so you never know what you're going to be dealing with. And each of these has different statuses that affect the match in some way as well. As for the actual gameplay, two words, fun and addictive. Coming up with different combos and different types of decks is so much fun. And don't even get me started on the Marvel Snap! Who makes a PC and mobile game their game of the year? Ah! 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 Here we go again. I guess he wasn't as over it as he thought he was. Let me know in the comments what your 2022 game of the year was, or what you think your game of the year will be for this year. I guess all that's left to say is, as always, be excellent to each other. See you, people. Trophy this time. Here, take your stupid trophy.